time stops for an object moving with the speed of light hmm. who said that it's albert einstein he said that in his theory of relativity why don't we look at that fact using the language of science now consider two mirrors say and b which are parallel to each other and are moving with a velocity v and inside that system there is a photon which is moving from mirror a to mirror b when we look from within the system the photon travels a straight line path from the mirror a to mirror b in the time t the distance traveled by the photon is equal to ct where c is the speed of light now let's change the frame of reference when we look from outside the system we can see that the path traveled by the photon is longer at this frame of reference let's represent the time as t prime so the distance traveled by the light can be considered as c t prime and the distance traveled by the system in the time t prime is v t prime hey we got a right triangle with c t prime as the hypotenuse now it's time for us to apply pythagoras theorem into this the pythagoras theorem will provide us with the equation c t prime the whole square equal to v t prime the whole square plus c t the whole square when solving this equation for t using algebra we will get that t equals t prime into root of 1 minus v square by c square t is the time for a moving body and t prime is the time for its surrounding that's it we got the equation for the relation between time for a moving body and its surrounding with this equation let's see what is time for a body moving with the speed of light in our equation v is the speed of the moving body and now we are going to substitute v with c as our body is moving with the speed of light that gives t equals t prime into root of 1 minus the c square by c square and by solving that we get t equals 0 that is time stops what will happen if we move beyond the speed of light when we do that there comes a problem in our equation square root of a negative number arise and that is not possible so if you have to travel beyond the speed of light you can do that in your imagination without breaking the reality timeline time is still a mystery